This is Mark from Team How To, and we're teaching the masses how to. Hey guys, it's Mark from Team How To. Today I want to show you how to remove some of the lines under the person's eyes here and get some dark spots removed and, and just do some general touch up on a face to kind of make it uh, more pristine. This is a good looking girl already, so she doesn't have a whole lot to work with, but this is more of a normal picture. If you're working on Granny's face, it gets a little tougher, but just wanted to show you how to kind of clean, clean some stuff up. This is going to be done in CS4 Photoshop. I know there are newer ones, but a lot of people still have these older ones, and I've been getting a few requests, so I'm going to go ahead and do it this way today. We'll do another one on the other newer versions later. I will talk a little bit about some variations, as if I think about them as I go, that would be different for like the newer versions. So first thing I always like to do is get a second layer. It helps me to do comparisons for starters. So I'll just do on this one, I'm going to right-click and duplicate the layer. There we go. Just call it copy because that's what it is. All right, cool. Now, first thing I want to do is I'm going to start working on the lines under here. And the easiest, probably quickest way I know of to do that is to come up here to the patch tool. And on this one, we have a source destination option. For the method we're using today, we want this to be on source. On some of the newer versions, you're going to have a diffusion over here. And it's got a 1 to 7, I think. So the higher the number, the softer the transition is and so you know use a fairly high number i think the default's five so it's usually a pretty good choice on this older version it does a really good job of whatever the default is here so first thing we'll do is like i said we'll get the patch tool and we're just going to cut out under the eyes where we like to get rid of these lines these they could be bags that works really good on bags as well but just lines in general and you'll see you kind of want to just outline what you like and then drag it down and you'll see when you head toward the area that's got the cleaner skin and you can just drag and then drop it and you can see it kind of clean that up and I'll hit control D for deselect and it gives you a better feel now we're gonna make this nicer but that's just a start and that's a pretty darn good start if you ask me so let's just take this big line out first just kind of work on it in pieces kind of give you a feel for it and I'll drag this one down like so there you go looks really good we'll do one more here get rid of this tight line here there we go and then left click and drag it down just to wherever it looks right let's see oh, something like that that looks pretty good control D for deselect now you can see we've still got some color we want to work with here I don't know if that's makeup or dark eyes whatever but we can deal with that in a second too but first I want to do a little bit of work on this little birthmark or just blemish here so I'm going to circle this like we did the others just drag it down to a cleaner spot. Watch that disappear. Control D for deselect. You can see that looks pretty darn good. Now, let's see. Let me get rid of a few little weird things like these lines here. I'm not sure if they're part of an imperfection in the picture or what's going on. Or it's a, maybe it's a little light hair. Switch this to the spot healing brush. And then we're just going to, if you're, if you're, circle here is not is too big we can use the square brackets to go smaller or larger you can see I'm just hitting the square brackets button so I'm gonna get slightly bigger than the thing and I'm gonna left click and drag it and kind of see it does a good job of getting rid of some of that stuff you got to be careful not to use too much of that because then it starts smudging but it's uh, it's real nice for little tiny things like um, let's see let me get this a little bigger and you can kind of see like just say the spot here so it just kind of makes it disappear. So if you have a bigger spot, a pimple or whatever, that's really nice. This isn't, not that this is distracting, but just watch how good this cleans this one little dot up. See, beautiful. All right, great. Oh, let's go ahead and do these. These look a little distracting. So we could just do, get it just slightly bigger than the dot. There you go. All right, cool. Let's do one more. All right, that was fun. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to work on the eyes a little bit here as far as the color goes. So for that, I'm going to use the Clone Stamp Tool. We'll come over here to this stamp-looking thing. We'll go to Clone Stamp Tool. What we want to do is make sure we're on current layer here, and we're going to go to Lighten. You see a lot of different options here. Lighten is the one we want. What it's going to do is lighten all the spots that are a little darker. And the good thing is it won't lighten spots that are already light. It'll only affect spots that are darker than, than what we're working on. So let's make another copy of this layer. So can do the myriad ways of doing it. We'll duplicate layer. Now it's copy two. Next thing we're going to do is just start by getting a sample of the lighter color we want. So let's come down here, 
say here, we're going to hit the Alt button or the Control button on a Mac, click left click, and then I'm going to go just a little bit bigger here. I'll just kind of paint in a little bit, left click and just kind of paint. We're just lightening up a little, a little bit under the eyes. No big deal. There we go. It's a little shiny, but we'll work on that in a minute. Then we'll come to this side, which is where it needs a lot more work. So I want to get a closer sample, so I'm going to Alt-click over here, closer to the colors we're looking for. This is just a considerable dark area, so we want to be able to bring down the color without destroying the overall look. See, it's too light. Control-Z. Let's do this again. Alt-click. Just start trying to paint this in. Alt-click. Kind of work your way closer to it, alt clicking, bringing it up. Notice if the if it gets lighter than you like the look, that's when you can you'll know that you want to grab another sample close. There's their sample there, not too bad. We'll lighten this up a bit more. It's obviously some shadowing going on here. Control Alt Z. So I don't want I don't want to get too dramatic there, but Go a little bigger, another sample, Alt-click. We're going to fix this up a bit more with the opacity here in a second. But So I think we're getting close here, it's close enough. So let's just do a little more. I'm going to do another one here. I want to bring this over a little bit more, get a little bit lighter. I'm going to come in where it's not quite as much. You kind of got to, you want to slowly bring it in, because otherwise, if you've got these big shadows, they really become obvious. One more here. Try to lighten this up just a bit more. There's just a natural shading here that makes it a little awkward. And then we'll come back in one more time with the spot healing brush. What I want to do is try to blend these two together a little better. So I'm going to left click and just drag it right on that line. It looks pretty good. Let's do that. Yeah. Now what we need to do is do one last step. We're going to make the opacity on this one. We're going to slide this down so it starts to look more natural. You can kind of see... Oops, I had to... Somewhere through here. That's a little too much. We want to lighten it without making it look unnatural. So there we go. I think that's perfect. Wait a minute, let's go a little higher. Yeah, I like that. All right, cool. So now we can see with and without... Oh yeah, look at all the darkness we're taking out of there. And there's the lines back in. So let's select both of these, hit Control G, and then with and without. Yeah, that was pretty good. Alright, I'm happy with that result. I could do more, but this is, uh, I don't want this to drag on. So, alright, hope that helps somebody. Hey, did you remember to subscribe?